Wonderful Friday night, August 5th, 2022. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. I hope you had all that your heart desired and I hope you grew and became closer to your father somehow, some way today. And listen, I have a question for you. Ooh, I tell you. Have you ever been in a situation where you have either been gaslighted? Now, you know that term is from a long time ago. I wanna say, yeah, I mean, it was from, I believe, a movie back in the 40s or 30s. And I think the name of the movie was called Gaslight. But we know when someone is trying to manipulate you and trying to act like you're at fault when they might be in fault and just all that type of trickery. But we know people do that. And the thing about it is they want to convince you that you are wrong and you have the proof right here that you are right. Listen, first of all, you know that God is your defender. He will avenge his very elect. So you don't ever have to take matters in your own hand. That's the first thing. And second thing is because of today's date, Psalms 5, we would have gone there because today is August 5th. And two very important scriptures in verse 11, 12. Listen, do not be discouraged. If a situation where you are experiencing racism, prejudice, hatred, uh, being singled out, just terrible treatment. Like I said, including that gaslighting and bullying and all that other stuff. But verse 11, let all those, that's us, all those that put their trust in thee, in the Lord, rejoice. You remember in Philippians 4, 4 it says rejoice evermore. Again, I say rejoice. Whatever happens, do not let anyone steal your joy. Do not let anyone steal your worship and praise. I don't care what the enemy puts in your path or try to set up these plots and and these ploys and these traps, no. You rejoice in the Lord for who he is in your life. <sighs> and let them ever shout for joy, right? The joy of the Lord is your strength. And remember in Habakkuk where it says, although the fig tree is not blossoming and you might not have this in your garage, in your burns, or in your purse, in your wallet, in your bank account, all those circumstances might be against you, you still joy in the God of your salvation because thou defendest. He is your protector. He is the one who will come and rescue you absolutely every time. Might not be the strategy that you were coming up with, but he rescues. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee again that word as a noun and as a verb. Make sure you have that element in you. For thou, Lord, will bless. This is a promise. For the Lord will bless the righteous. You keep living uprightly and following the Lord, doing the right thing, even though they're playing games. Doesn't matter. With favor. Woo, this is the beauty here. <laughs> All of it is beautiful but with favor, right? You know that song, favor ain't fair. Well, listen, with favor, the, the old school word and the spelling is with a U, F-A-V-O-U-R. That means loving kindness, grace, mer unmerited promise for you uh, where you will be put ahead and people are scratching their head like, how? With favor, Wilt thou compass? That means he'll surround you as with a shield. So this is why you can rejoice forevermore. This is why you let no one steal your praise. Look, 
I'm in the dark and I'm trying to see what number this is that is being cross-referenced. What is this? Psalms 115, 13. Let's go there. Because this is rich. Because I tell you, people will try you and they will try to steal your joy. But no. It is secure. Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. Yes. So that is a promise that you can keep forever and ever and ever. Let's see. We are in the third chapter of Jonah, but I wanted to remind you that the spirit of the Lord is here and the spirit of the Lord is there. And in Jonah 3, it talks about the journey. Jonah finally goes to Nineveh where he was appointed to go. And this is like August where a lot of people are trying to put in their last minute vacations and they have a journey. Well, this chapter starts off talking about, and the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach. So Jonah arose and went into Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. The Lord is sending us some places. So we know that the Lord will be with us and he'll guide us in verse four. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And we're going some places. Know that the Lord is already there at the destination, our destiny. We have to make sure that we are confident knowing that the spirit of the Lord is with us. Just the chorus. that your spirit is here is there it's where we're going father we will continue to rejoice in you knowing that you'll protect us you will avenge us and you will put us in the path that you will have us to go so we could accomplish your perfect will we give you the glory and the honor for what you're going to do in our lives tonight and forevermore in jesus name amen